my name is Vincent uh, from Special Olympics Kenya. Today, today we have had a very wonderful day with the Sports Journalists Association, Association of Kenya. And basically what we are doing today is we had a platform with them since there's a very big day coming tomorrow, which is International Day of Sports for Development and Peace. So today what we are doing is uh, we wanted to create synergies with the journalists so that at least we can be able to come up with areas of uh, let me say reporting in case for special olympics as we did with athletes with intellectual disabilities and they engage in sports so when we talk about uh, proper reporting is we report depending also with the maybe especially with special, Olymp special olympics then they deal with athletes with intellectual disabilities we also have other sports federations that are disability friendly like paralympics who deal with physical disabilities so to be able to create that, uh, that, that the difference and also the relationship between all these other federations, that's why we had that one for today. And also preparing the journalists and since tomorrow we are having that International Day of Sport for Development and Peace, where we are going to have so many federations coming together, so many partners coming together like GIZ, we have UNESCO, we have uh, UNESCO NATCOM, and other partners will come together to celebrate that day. Uh, so we all know that uh, this one is our, is our, our election year, and right now we have campaigns that are going on. One thing that we are concerned about as Kenyans is having peace despite having the elections going on. So one thing we have come to admit is uh, the media is one of the strong uh, mediums through which we can be able to communicate the information. So right now Special Olympics and Special Olympics Africa, they have organized uh, a walk or let me say a torch run which we have partnered with Kenya Police where we are going to do the, the, the run in seven counties, starting from Nairobi, going to Kiambu, and all the way to Mombasa. This is to ensure that even if you're going to have election, let's have election year with peace. No matter maybe the side someone is on, so we should ensure that the safety of the other one is your peace. And that's why Special Olympics is coming together, just to ensure that we give that platform, let everyone know that peace is important for prosperity and we are doing it through sports. So one of the greatest components we have, like, let me talk on behalf of Special Olympics, as we did with athletes with intellectual disability, and you know one of their, one of their biggest limitations is cognitive ability. So back when we had the post-election violence in 2007, so we lost one of our athletes through, let me say, uh, circumstances, since this athlete was not able to tell where the danger was coming from. So instead of him running away from the danger, so he ran to where the danger was, and that's how he ended up losing his life. So us, what we are doing is we want to use this platform. One is to sensitize our athletes, sensitize them on the need even to go and vote. And not only that, also to remain very safe. And when we do it, we know sport is one of the medium that can be able to communicate. Maybe I can be able to give examples of what happened in West Africa. They have achieved uh, their peace through sports, football. So even as that's what we are doing, since when people are in the field, they really don't matter about maybe where you are from or who you support or you don't support. They come together, enjoy, have fun, and do all that. So by us coming together with SJA is to ensure that this information goes to all parts of the country. For us as Special Olympics, we may not be able to do that through our social media platforms. But if you have the SJAC on board, then they'll be able to broadcast this information so that in all the villages, in all the corners of our country, the information about, the message about peace is concerned. And that's why we work with law enforcers in Kenya and all over the world to do this, this, this runs and torch runs. So, but the, the torch run will be, will have, will be happening uh, towards the end of this month, from towards the end of this month and next month. And who is going to involve the Special Olympics Kenya as now the national program in partnership with Special Olympics Africa. Africa, that's the region. Together now we are going to work with Kenya police. So those are the main partners. But on board, we are bringing on board other partners, like the National Cohesion. They are coming together so that at least anybody who is preaching peace, they can come to this war. Will there be any special interactive programs uh, during the run to reach out to the common Monange? Yeah, as it will be coming from one county to the next one. Huh? So it will be happening, if maybe we go to Kiambu County. So we are going to use some of our athletes to be able to do that one and other sports personalities within Kiabu County and also the, the county government of each county. So they are going to be involved so that everybody can know that they own, they own that torch run. So that is not only Special Olympics doing it. So it will shift from one county to the next one. As they hand over, the county government of one county will hand it over to their county government of the other county.
Uh, so for say that maybe we'll come to Mombasa is after now the climax of Mombasa we'll be having our national games. So we are going to do this run before our national games. So we are also preparing for something referred to as uh, Special Olympic Summer World Games, which will happen next year, June 2023 in Berlin, Germany. So once we do this run, towards the end of this run, it will be climaxed by, by us having the regional games. So the regional games will be taking place in uh, June and July. That is all the seven regions of our country. That's how we have divided as far as Special Olympics is concerned. And then after the regional games, so we choose the teams that will come to the national games, which we are hoping that will happen either slightly before the election. If not, they will happen in September. After now we do our national games, is where we are going to choose a team comprising of 76 athletes and 19 coaches who will prepare for almost a year. So that next year in June, they will be going to Berlin for Special Olympics World Games.